Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Um, I started off, well, my new project is really about how to make a 3D model of well, the neurons. I started off with a new piece because I imagined that I did a uh, full scale 3D all around model. However, I then went for the 2D approach with tracing it with um, different types of shapes and etc. And yeah, there's not really much to say other than me currently tracing it a bit. Um, the main the main use of neurons is really that it transmits impulses in between the peripheral and the central processes, and it really depends on that. Uh, what type? The type of the neuron depends on that, because there's three types of neurons, and uh, the sensory neuron is linked to the sense organs, and uh, I imagine that it's for the peripheral nervous system. Because the peripheral nervous system gathers the information, and the motor muscles are also probably for the peripheral system, because they're also uh, the motor neurons gather information from the external and internal uh, sources, and then they all send it to the central nervous system, which is the intern neuron. Um, and the interneurons are vital because they are the ones that really just share the, like, I mean, they're the ones that process the information. So, currently I'm working on the node that is attached to the axon, which, um, <laughs> the long, which is the long fiber that carries impulses around. The largest part of a neuron is the cell body, which is the top thing, and the branchy thing. The branchy things are, uh, if I'm not mistaken, dendrites. The one at the bottom, however, is an axon terminal. The dendrites are for receiving impulses. The axon terminals, which is the bottom branch, is for uh, carrying impulses. Basically, neurons connect each other to just respond to everything and imagine and uh, this is practically the template of a neuron currently I'm working on the rig for it because I mean at the time I was thinking if I'm not going to make it fully 3D I might as well make it movable and it turned out that the rig was okay because and I didn't have to wait ping so the difference in between our neurons and animal neurons is that the crocodile crocodiles don't have myelin. Well, some animals do have myelin that insulates the membrane of the axon. It basically feeds stuff up. Like you gave an example on how crocodiles react slower in the cold, and that's practically how they hibernate because they don't have myelin. And that's not the case for us, we practically react at the same time. Um, that's pretty much it. Really, there's nothing else to say other than the resting action and the, no, resting position and the action position. And here's an animation of it. Uh, but I didn't want to stop there, I wanted, I mean, it's 2D and simple, so I decided to make make one of the comic strip characters into one of this and I just gave it a monocle and the comic strip character is supposed to be an inter, inter neuron? yeah an inter neuron because it basically carries all the information and that's why I gave it a stereotypical British look because they're uh, usually all of that but thanks for watching have a nice day